to say before the VIP lounge, right? It's blah, blah, blah. Now, I wasn't quite invited to the MVP, the VIP lounge this week, but because what Omos and MVP did to me last week, I decided to just invite myself. You see, last week should have been a, a celebration for the Almighty because I went to hell and back against almost at WrestleMania. And you know what, I can give credit where credit is due. Almost is a big, strong, scary man, and I barely made it out of that match against him. But then the next day on Raw, I felt that relentless power once again. But this time, it was because I was stabbed in the back by the one man in this entire world that I thought I could trust. MVP. So without wasting any more time, MVP, why don't you bring your punk ass down to this ring and explain to me and all these people why you did what you did. Is MVP gonna show up? Okay, okay. Since you're not gonna come out here and you almost ain't gonna come out here, maybe I should start making the VIP rounds a little more suitable for the Almighty. It's this table that I didn't really like, this fresh Corinthian leather that you have here. MVP, why don't I just rearrange all? Ooh. Well, he got his attention. This is what Lashley wanted. We all wanted an explanation. MVP not coming out alone. Yeah, that's not what Lashley wanted. He wanted MVP. We've got MVP in the seven foot four Colossus. Oh, boss. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Stop embarrassing yourself like this, being so emotional. And if you should destroy any of my property, our lawyers. <laughs> My lawyers will be sending you a bill for the damages. MVP, you can shove that bill up your ass. And won't you take you and your big friend and bring him down in this VIP lounge so we can explain to all these people why you did what you did. Bobby, while I would love to allow Moss to come down there and teach you another lesson in humility, Omas is learning to be a businessman. So he's gonna wait until the time, and of course the money, are right. What you should be doing right now is changing your tone of voice and putting some respect on my name. As a matter of fact, you and all of these people that cheer for you should be collectively saying, thank you, MVP. So you want an explanation? You want an explanation? All right, you deserve that. When I came back to the WWE, you were floundering! You were letting some sawed-off runt and some wannabe TikTok star lead your career astray. You couldn't even sniff a WWE Championship despite all of your immense talents until I resurrected you. It was me that helped you unlock your potential to achieve all of the greatness that you had. And you think that you don't need me after everything I've done for you? You, you don't want to share your WrestleMania spotlight with me? I made you! You made me? I made you! Before I came back here, you were just Bobby Lashley. Don't you ever forget that it was MVP that made you almighty. You made me MVP? I made you! You came back for your farewell tour. You were ready to retire your boots and call it an end to your career. But then you did what you do best. 
you latched on to your next meal ticket. You saw where the Almighty was going. I destroyed everybody on Raw. I even went up to the top and defeated Brock Lesnar for the WWE That's right. you Championship. Did you did all those things, and who was with you every step of the way making sure that happened? Me! But you don't need me, right? That's okay, hold on. That was the past. This is the present. And I'm looking at the future. Omas is bigger than you. The colossal Omas is stronger than you. He's meaner than you. And he will take your place atop the mountain because he's smart enough to realize that he needs me. You barely survived your first match with Omas. I guarantee you. No. I promise you, you won't survive the next. Henry P, the only survival that you need to worry about is your own. You think you're tough because you're standing behind the giant? Well, I'm gonna chop his ass down just like I did at WrestleMania. And then after I finish Omos and VP, I'm coming to get you. Not often anyone says that about Omas. Third oh, point. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey. Obviously, this, this severed relationship is cut deep for Bobby Lashley. Wow! MVP, oh my gosh! Bobby Lashley destroying the VIP lounge. He's not here when MVP told him he's gonna be here for Warriors. Lawyer's not on his mind. Be ready for anything in the VIP lounge. The same can be said for the 24-7 champion two weeks ago. It wasn't chairs, but love that was in the air.